Thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the mid-40s. Southeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour, with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Chance of rain 40%. Thursday partly sunny. A slight chance of showers in the morning. Windy and much cooler with highs in the upper 50s. Chance of rain 20%. Thursday night partly cloudy. A slight chance of showers after midnight. Cooler with lows in the mid-30s. Chance of rain 20%. Friday partly sunny with highs in the upper 50s. Friday night mostly cloudy. A chance of rain after midnight. Lows in the mid-30s. Chance of rain 40%. Saturday and Saturday night mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. Highs in the lower 50s. Lows in the mid-30s. Sunday and Sunday night partly cloudy with highs in the upper 50s. Lows in the upper 30s. Monday mostly sunny. Warmer with highs in the lower 70s. Once again the forecast for tonight, mostly clear with a chance of thunderstorms this evening, then mostly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms likely after midnight. Some thunderstorms may be severe. Windy with lows around 50. South winds 20 to 30 miles an hour, with gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Chance of rain 70%. Here's a look at weather conditions at 8 p.m. The report from Ellsworth was not available. Salina was partly cloudy, the temperature was 74, dew point 63, and the relative humidity was 68%. Winds were southeast at 32 gusting to 43 miles an hour, the pressure was 29.58 and falling. Great Bend was clear, the temperature was 74, dew point 63, and the relative humidity was 68%. Winds were southeast at 29 gusting to 41 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.53 and rising. McPherson was cloudy. The temperature was 72, dew point 63, and the relative humidity was 73%. Winds were southeast at 23 gusting to 35 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.59 and falling. Russell was clear, the temperature was 75, dew point 63, and the relative humidity was 66%. Winds were southeast at 23 gusting to 38 miles an hour, the pressure was 29.50 and rising. Hayes was clear, the temperature was 76, dew point 62, and the relative humidity was 62%. Winds were south at 29 gusting to 38 miles an hour, the pressure was 29.48 and falling. Elsewhere around the area, Hutchinson was 71 and mostly cloudy, winds were south with gusts to 41. Wichita was 70 and cloudy, winds were southeast with gusts to 36. Concordia was 75 and partly cloudy, winds were southeast with gusts to 48. Emporia was 73 and mostly cloudy, winds were southeast with gusts to 32. Topeka was 79 and cloudy, winds were southeast with gusts to 23. Kansas City was 77 and mostly cloudy, winds were south with gusts to 22. Pratt was 73 and clear, winds were southeast with gusts to 36. Dodge City was 78 and clear, winds were south with gusts to 45. Goodland was 76 and partly cloudy, winds were west with gusts to 28. Denver was 57 and mostly cloudy. Once again at 8 p.m., Great Bend was 74 and clear. Here is some climate information from around the region. The current time is 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 113, effective until 3 a.m. Tuesday. This watch includes the following counties, Barton, Ellsworth, Pawnee, Rice, Rush, Russell, and Stafford. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, both in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. 
the following is a summary 